Welcome to Mindful Drawing. I'm Ruxus Fun, and I'll be your guide on these mindfulness meditations to the act of drawing. Each week here, we explore our creativity through a little bit of an exercise in bringing our attention and our awareness to the technique and the connection between our body, our mind, and that material interface that we're drawing on, the paper through the pen or the pencil that we like to use. This week's exercise looks at producing a field of figures, the way we can use a small set of input data to craft variability, variety, and uniqueness in shape across a page, and then use each of those instances of the platform for exploring our drawing. We'll really connect with the breath, use the breath to guide the way we form the basis for each figure, and then expand from there just to let the pen wander, explore, and coalesce into a field of connected elements. All you need is a pen or pencil and some pad of paper, sketchbook, or even some scrap on the back of an envelope to follow along. So go ahead and get yourself ready, establish your space, and let's draw together. We'll work on a field condition today, kind of exploring the changes of shape over space and time. So to warm up a little bit, just to find our shape, find how we might want to draw, we use a piece of scrap or a new page in a sketchbook. And just look at the way we can make a shape that we can both track with our attention as well as have some freedom to play and explore. I'm just going to begin by making a few dots, maybe four to six to just float around in the space a little bit. Six to start with and find our way. There's some small constellation there. And then with curves or straight lines, trying to connect through the dots, we can wiggle and move however we may like to get there. A little bit of Wobbling back and forth can make that a little easier to hit all the points uh, rather than trying to smoothly connect through each one. And we get some little lake shape, peanut shape or something. And if we try again, just forming that constellation four to six points in space, choosing a place to begin and tracking along in some sequential order. You could cross over the top, or stay to the outside, whichever works for you as you create shapes that have similarity. They are sharing the same base cloud of points there, but for now may wander quite a bit, become more smooth and regular, bumpy and irregular. And if you miss one of the points, it's just where the line went. Okay, they're a guide for shaping and forming. You could play a little with whether they form tall, slender shapes, even, round shapes. And then Playing a little with the number of points to find what works for you to draw. Go ahead and switch over to a larger field and explore in that space in a somewhat organized or regular way the transformation of that shape over the space and time. So choosing a corner, whichever feels comfortable for you to begin. I'll start here in the upper right. I'm going to pick my number and have set myself for what I'm going to try to count to each time. It's that space of attention and awareness. And I'll go with five as a nice middle ground, enough to be complex, but not too many to make it take a while. And take a breath in and just stabilize and then choosing a rough area of the page 
too big, not too small. See if I can track through those five points as I let the breath exhale out of my lungs. And again, if we get to the end and still have a few to go, take a normal breath in and out. And I'm gonna go move a little to the left, create another constellation, breathing in to get started. And see if I can begin to bring the speed of creating here the points and constellations in alignment with the speed of my breath. Again, five points arranged similar or differently as you begin to explore. Breathing in to locate, the breathing out to form the constellation. Starting to bring your attention with that breath cycle to direction. Are you working around clockwise or counterclockwise? Are you perhaps jumping all over the place? And if, like me, you start to reach the end of a row, you can move down a little, getting to form kind of a grid space or field. But if you're working in a trajectory, establishing that as a rhythm here on with the breath. Breathing in, setting the attention to the number, setting the attention to the direction of motion. And letting those points form around some space on the page. I'm working roughly in a grid, but it doesn't have to be too tight or constrained. Just a way to keep the space on the page with a bit of structure that lets us see the definition of each constellation. Settling in here for myself to the five dots on a breath working counterclockwise from the upper portion around in some pattern. And after you have a couple of rows or columns forming there, we'll work to kind of fill up some of the space of the page to this introduction, the shaping of space. Breathing in and forming with the constellation and the breath out. A few more at your pace and we'll transition to mapping through the regions formed here, internal to the shapes. and then look for opportunity external to them. I have a little space left in my field on the right side of the page. So I'm just gonna add a few more. Spending some time in that slow, attentive breath, bringing the mindful awareness to the shaping here on the page. And when you feel ready, you can keep going with the constellations. If you see something forming or transition, I think I'll let kind of my eyes survey the paper for a while, float around and any constellation that stands out, that draws me in, breathe into that space, locate around it, let the eyes sink in a little bit there and 
Take a breath in and begin that walk of a curve through the points. Again, choosing for yourself if you want to be more direct, even straight lines, or more curve and wobble to allow them to connect smoothly, and in some way shaping from those dots. Breathing in and moving out or finding another that calls your attention and tracking it as well. Maintaining our same awareness of directionality, which you can change at any time to have a consistency if you'd like to explore another movement. Perhaps the direction is a problem for smudging, whatever it may be. But set that as a known intention and try to follow it as part of that practice both of a way of creating and setting up those guides to keep our attention in the space of the drawing, linking between our breaths and our movement, between intention and exploration. Just letting these initial constellations be our guide or introduction to filling out a bit of the space. Each new shape, each new figure tracking through those points, starting to create an inside and outside condition to form something between with its neighbor. Our attention focused on the moment, focused on forming the condition of the shape, focused on our interaction, the direction, the play of the line or curve, the movement of our hand through the space. The holding of the pen or pencil, perhaps to better see what is taking place at the moment of interface there. Depending on how you're drawing, it may block, reveal more. Sometimes for me, the path to the next point is unclear until passing through the previous one, unable to see it behind the hand. And letting the slow exhale guide that journey so we can adapt, adjust our movement, speed, and trajectory to find the next link next node of connection. The structure of the points you may reach towards the end of the figures provided and add more retrace steps, connect in new ways or overlaps. Or now begin to let our attention broaden to reach out from the moment of interaction and the forming of the figure to the space within or without. We have this constellation of points and going to begin to work inward to a form, perhaps little jumps, 
across the interior, little folds of the outside in, or jumps across the space, the void between each shape, proximities, or wandering overlaps through. I think I'll work internal to the shape for a little bit, giving each one more weight and more form to its initial perimeter outline just simply jumping some arcs between neighboring points, creating a space between the edge and the center. Wherever your vision takes you, the expanding of the eyes, slowly working out from the figures that we initially create on the page and letting it dig into deeper form, work beyond to network interconnection. For me, the drawing inward becomes a tracking through the kind of grid or field space going one by one and having some time in between to explore with my eyes, the voids shaping. No action to that space yet for me, but an interaction and observing the mind, the memory, the open attention, seeing perhaps recording and tracking, developing that map internally. And at some point in time, perhaps we see connection or opportunity. We follow it along, but while we give space for that to form and follow a simple technique Connecting dots. Through the phases, it may depend a little on your character or disposition, perhaps just the time today, whether you feel drawn to finish out sequence, the dots, the perimeters, the inside figures or shapes. And then whatever comes next. But as we found a place of connection, a place of figure and shape, of space open on the page, we may find attention begin to wander or jump and to be okay or open to that, maybe even to follow those occasional leaps in attention or to recognize them and give them a little space of breath to say it's okay, we're gonna finish just a little over here. That idea, that opportunity still there in the space floating on the page, having potential to open up when we are ready. And this is just an observation of where your attention might lie in this moment. As I have begun to fill all of my creatures and figures I'll next move to let them begin to communicate towards each other, perhaps leaving the points, just working with curves between them, a mimic, a 
path to wander, to extend the shape. and search through the space for a while. The longer journey, the flow of a curve, a connection through space, a place of the unknown, of the exploration, Keeping the pen or pencil moving. Tracking along the edges of things. Searching with the eyes to guide the hand. Finding opportunity and collision overlap. And just letting that hand move at another rate, another scale, wide. It's oscillating between the fast and the slow. Little jumps or long journeys through the in-betweens. Those bigger movements releasing into the territory. Smaller nooks and crannies pulling us in. And just having a few moments to draw through the space, find new linkages, connections, or separations between the large elements there. With our last couple of minutes, taking a few deep breaths, establishing yourself in your space, perhaps putting the pen or pencil down wherever it may be and just taking a moment, breathe and roll the shoulders. To flex and extend the fingers and the hands, warmed up, flexible, but maybe becoming a little rigid in their constant interaction. And a big breath in, and a nice release, prepare to extend out to the next part of the day. Welcome back. After the time we spend there exploring our creativity through an act of mindfulness, through that inward attention to the creative act and the outward expression of how it fills the page and engages something new, something discovered in the multiplicity, something expansive from the technique, or just something fun to doodle on for 20 or 30 minutes. I thank you for joining, and as always, if you like what you see here, please feel free to leave a comment, give it a thumbs up down below, and let us know what you think about these exercises or things you would like to explore through the drawing. I'm always open to try new techniques or to see if there's ways that we can expand into other fields of drawing without becoming overly complicated or requiring too much skill. I hope you're able to find some fun and relaxation, or even just a little bit of creative expression here. And as always, whatever you're doing, draw well. Thank you.